on a polar boat in a trailer and you don't know as Coconut Joe. Hi, Coconut Joe here. So you're thinking about buying a boat. You have something to tow it with, you think. You're asking Joe this question. Coconut Joe, I'm thinking of purchasing a vessel to tow behind my boat, but I don't know how to properly set that up. Would you help me know whether I'm doing the right thing? Answer, yes. Let's look in. The first question I'm going to ask you is, do you know what the rating is on your car or truck? So if I know that you're going to be able to pull 5,000 pounds, I'm not going to try and sell you a package that is 6,000 pounds. Okay. So that'll be the first thing. The second thing is, I'm going to ask you if you already have a hitch. If you do, then I'm going to ask you to take one measurement. I'm going to ask you to measure from the ground to the top of the receiver. Okay. This is called the receiver, and this is called the receiver insert. And I'll tell you why I want that measurement. I'll get my lovely assistant, Joe Pippen, to back up for a moment while I show you this. And the reason is because when you're hooked up to a trailer, you want this trailer to be either level or slightly uphill. And there's a really important reason for that. Boat trailers use what are called surge brakes. This is a hydraulic brake system. The ball sits in here. This hitch ball sits in here. And then there's a piston inside here. So when you, when you ride up on that hitch ball because you're hitting the brakes, it activates the piston and applies exactly that much pressure to the brakes. But if the trailer is pointed downhill, then those brakes are riding the whole time. So you're going to burn out your brakes or fry your wheel bearings or do something else that really you don't want to go there. Okay? So that's the first question. Now, what I'll do with that information is I'll go take the rig that I think you want and I'm going to take a measurement from the ground to the top of the hitch ball. Okay? And this is where the top of the hitch ball would be. And what that's going to tell me is how much lift I need to get to make it level. If we assume that this trailer rig is level right now, I'm going to need a, a, a receiver insert that has a lift of about two inches. I know that sounds really technical, but it's the most important thing you can know about trailering your boat safely. Okay, now, other stuff. Here's safety, safety, safety. Safety here. You put these underneath, you hook them up to the truck, and if the trailer pops off, it catches it like a basket. So nothing bad happens. This hooks up to there too. If something bad happens, it pops off. Okay, and this activates the brakes. This here has to go in here. If it doesn't, then you're not locked onto the top of the hitch ball. Okay? And this is a tongue jack that helps you crank the trailer on and off of the hitch. Okay? So you guys have got to be with me so far. It's not all that difficult. Here's a couple other things to know. What kind of trailer is right for you? This is called a bunk trailer. A bunk trailer very kindly and gently cradles the boat. You can see it really bridges the hull well. And it's easier to drive onto this trailer. However, if you're in a really tricky ramp, you can have a situation where the back tires of the truck are almost wet, but the boat is still out of the water. For situations like that, you're better off with a roller trailer. Because as long as you get the rear tire of that trailer in about halfway, you can get the boat on and off. 